Getting $100 million from the state's allocation of the federal pandemic relief money, Alabama lawmakers just divvied up last week. The CBS 42 state capital reporter Maddie Beer Temple heard from the Nursing Home Association about how that money may be helpful. The Alabama Nursing Home Association says these federal funds will help the state's 229 nursing homes better care for their residents. Virus concerns are slowing down, but COVID costs are still adding up for Alabama nursing homes. We are still testing for COVID in our nursing homes on a regular basis, both our residents and staff. That's an ongoing expense that's been uh, happening ever since the beginning of the pandemic. Alabama Nursing Home Association spokesman John Matson says many facilities have undergone renovations too. A lot of our nursing homes have built isolation units or we'll build a temporary isolation unit if someone tests positive. Then of course we retrofitted our HVAC systems and done some other building modifications. So there's been a lot of expenses that occurred in the past and we still have ongoing expenses. Those with Wesley Place and Dothan are glad to see nursing homes included in the funding. Glad to have a little more financial relief from the state of Alabama. That'll make a, a big difference. March says their biggest challenge right now is staffing. He hopes the funding will be able to go toward hiring and retaining employees. Every department is challenged right now as we compete with everyone else out there where the, the uh, wages have been have, have risen. Um, so that, that's, that's the main thing that we wrestle with on a daily basis. The state and federal spending guidelines for the funds have not been laid out yet by the state finance department. Matson says once they are, the association will tell nursing homes how they can apply. Now that $100 million going to nursing homes is part of the total $1.06 billion spending plan approved by the legislature and governor last Thursday. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.